Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video, this is uh, really going to be the first video where I'm actually assembling the uh, the tube chassis for the Baja Bug. So in the last couple of videos, you saw me working on um, the the base here, which is what I'm building the tube chassis on, and then underneath it sits uh, kind of like a substructure that, in addition to this base, keeps this base completely straight. Now what I'm doing is I'm I'm actually building the frame on top of this base. I'm definitely thankful at this point that I went through all the uh, painstaking steps that I did to build this build platform and to build it in the way that I did because um, now that I'm actually building the chassis, it's really, um, it's been very helpful in setting the chassis up and keeping it uh, flat or level and uh, <clears throat> symmetrical from side to side. I built the uh, the build platform out of inch and a half square tubing and then the chassis is being built out of inch and a half tubing which is nice because as I'm laying it out I can just clamp some little guides around the the inch and a half square tubing and then just lay the inch and a half round tubing right inside there and it holds it exactly where it needs to be so I just using the measurements from the Bentec software I just laid everything out. I laid everything out just like I was when I was building the base platform. Made all the miter cuts, came up here, put my little guide clamps all the way around it, put the pieces down in there, tacked them together. I've been tacking them with um, triangle tacks, so I'll do a little tiny tack on the top and then two tiny tacks on the sides, and then I'll make the tack on the top a little bit bigger. I have definitely learned that I need to make that tack on the top very small at first otherwise it has a tendency to try and um, bend things up which if you look around you'll also notice that as I was tacking things together I was putting hose clamps or C clamps or whatever I needed as I was actually building it around the tube to just draw it down tight to the base as I was tacking it and then when I had all of the pieces tacked together then I actually took the frame off I flipped it over so it was upside down. I clamped it down again, just like it is now. And then I put tacks on the bottom just to, to give it a little bit more rigidity to help it fight from trying to um, bend up or anything like that. So once I put those tacks on, then I unclamped everything again, flipped it back over, and now it's in its upright position. So once I had that portion of the base chassis done, I started working on the, let's call it the, the three-dimensional portions of the chassis. Um, and this is the first piece of that that I've, I've tacked in place. So again, once I had the base plate tacked in position and I was happy with it being straight and accurate and all that, then I went back to the Bentec software and I'm starting with the, the front section here because this is where I want to um, experiment with the Bentec software as far as how it tells me to cope the lengths to cut the pieces to and all of that. So I went back to the software. I checked the layout in the drawing program. I made sure that I had my miters and my copes, everything that I needed to, and I, I really checked them out in the software. The software prints out these templates that you put on the end of the steel. So the first thing the software tells you is it tells you how long to cut the piece. And it gives you a little bit of extra, about um, 3 8 7 inch on either side. So you go in the software, you pick out the part that you're gonna cut or that you wanna build, you cut it, and then you print out the, the miters. You wrap these around the, uh, the tubing. And I don't know if you can see this. This blue line here is a reference line that they give you. So what you do is when you put this on here, you make sure that this blue line lines up and you can see that I used the electro weld on this electro weld tubing as a, as a straight edge. You make sure that this blue line lines up with that blue line. That way you know that these in reference to each other are on the same rotation. And then they've got this red line. And as an example, this one says, 23 and 1 16th distance to second. What that means is you take this red line and you go make sure that it's 
23 and 1 16th to the reference line on the next one. And that's how you know that you've got them spaced far enough apart. So then you've got them spaced appropriately apart and they're in rotation with each other. And then what you do is they've got the coat printed out on them and you need to grind that out, cut that out, whatever. You, meet, you need to make the tube match the cutout profile. As an example, this piece here, I just tacked on there. I cut the paper off right before I tacked it, obviously, but this cope on there is from the Bentec. I, you know, I didn't modify that at all. I just followed the, followed the paper, and this is the first miter that I've put on here, but it, it seems pretty good. It seems pretty accurate. So what I did at first, um, you know, of course, there's, there's some things that's missing from this video, and that was it took me about two, I had to ruin two pieces before I figured out exactly how the best way to do this. And obviously, I've only got one in place at this point, so I might be altering my process even more as I go on. But what I did the first time is, as I just took my grinder and I ground everything out, um, and that sucked because that was a lot of grinding, and um, I don't really like grinding. What I did after that, which has worked well so far, is I would just print these pieces out, wrap them around there, get them all lined up, and then take my hole saw and just go halfway through the pipe wherever they had a coat. And I would rotate it and go halfway through and halfway through. So I was I was kind of getting, I would say, three quarters of the coat done with the um, tubing notcher, which is pretty easy. And then I would take my grinder at that point and just clean it up and get it right down to the paper. That's what I've done on the four pieces that I'm tacking on right now. And so far that's worked pretty well. So uh, as of right now, that's the way I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tack this one and the other three in place and then see how the, the piece fits on the top and then check measurements and just, and just see how things are going. Okay, now, as you just saw, I've got all four of these posts tacked on here. And uh, I gotta say, they're, uh, they're pretty straight, pretty darn straight. And I've checked their, uh, their lengths, because I wasn't 100% sure how those copes, how accurate those copes would be. Um, as far as their elevation, they're extremely accurate, so. That's making me feel even more com more confident that the uh, dimensions I'm getting from the Bentec software are really good. So what I'm going to be doing now is setting this piece up there. This part here, I'm going to just tack onto this cope. This part here is um, got a mitered joint that's going to come in here that isn't here yet. So I'm just going to just tack this on real lightly. Um, right now I'm cutting a piece of metal that I'm gonna run down the front of this tube and the tube on the other side just so that I can keep the elevation totally consistent from one side to the other. And then I'll put some straps on here and, and draw this down so that I can get the tacks on there. So I put these four pieces up. You saw that with the square and the 
the hose clamps it was a little janky but it actually worked really well they got them pretty pretty straight then this piece which i had already welded together because i welded this together down on the frame jig because that's the same angle so before i had the the frame sitting on here i took those three pieces clamped them in place and made these welds then i was able to bring it up here and make sure that it's the exact same angle that it needs to be down there uh, this piece lined up extremely well with these pieces the notches landed on the miters and all that but really all i did is i just set this on here i had some pieces of steel in here clamped that marked how far down this needed to go and then i just pulled the whole piece down with a strap on either side and then just tacked everything in place now what i need to do I need to take the fiberglass one piece front end off of the bug and I need to actually bring it over here and find out how it lines up with this piece and how it lines up with the width because that's, that's an important uh, factor on this chassis. I tried setting up the chassis so that the point from here to here is roughly the same width as like from here to there on the other side because I want to carry over the one piece front end from this chassis to the other chassis. All in all, it went really well. This was the first really pieces that I have put together using those little um, templates from the Bentec software. So far, uh, I think I'm really happy with it. It's, it's come out pretty symmetrical and all the copes were good and all that. So. That's, uh, that's given me a good feeling about trying to build the chassis off of their software. I'm definitely feeling the pain now of trying to build a chassis and keep the bug in this garage because anytime I work on this now, I need to push the bug out and stand the chassis down. So that's a little bit of a nuisance, but you know, I gotta, gotta do what I, what I gotta do in this one stall garage. I'm going to make up, I'm going to set up a little series so that I can put all these tube chassis build videos in one spot so that if people stumble across them and they want to watch them, they can uh, see how the whole process went for me. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope it's motivating you guys to go work on something of your own. And like I said, if you watch this and you've got some tips for me on mocking all this up and setting things together or whatever, um, just give me a comment. And... Uh, Hope to see you in the next video. Take care, guys.